Uh, I would like to now recognize Mr. Martin for five minutes to present his testimony. Thank you, sir. Yes, Members sir. of the subcommittee, over its 60-year history, NASA has been responsible for numerous scientific discoveries and technological innovations. However, many of NASA's largest projects cost signif significantly more to complete and take much longer to launch than originally planned. Our office has examined NASA's successes and failures in project management by examining the long-standing challenges the agency has faced in meeting cost, schedule, and performance objectives, as well as the tools it has developed to address these shortcomings. We identified four factors that present the greatest challenges to successful project outcomes. One is NASA's culture of optimism. Two, underestimating technical complexity. Three, funding instability, and four, development of new project managers. My remarks this morning address the first two of these challenges. Optimism. Exemplified by the agency's greatest achievement, landing humans on the moon and safely returning them to Earth, NASA's ability to overcome obstacles has become part of its can-do culture. However, our work has shown that this attitude contributes to development of unrealistic plans and performance baselines, particularly with respect to its largest projects. Technological success, often at a significantly greater cost than originally estimated, tends to reaffirm a mindset that project cost and adherence to schedule are secondary concerns. In fact, several people offered a name for this phenomena, calling it the Hubble psychology or an expectation that projects that fail to meet initial cost and schedule goals will receive additional funding and that subsequent scientific success will overshadow budget and schedule problems. The Hubble Space Telescope was two years late and about a billion dollars more than initial estimates, but most people don't remember that. Instead, they rightfully remember its stupendous images of the universe. While a few projects in NASA's recent past have been canceled because of poor cost and schedule performance, a too-big-to-fail mentality pervades agency thinking when it comes to NASA's larger and most important missions. While understandable, given the investment of agency resources, cost overruns in these projects can result in delays to other missions as funding is reprioritized. Technical complexity. The technical complexity inherent in NASA projects remains a major challenge to achieving cost and schedule goals, with project managers attempting to predict the amount of time and the amount of money needed to develop one-of-a-kind and first-of-their-kind technologies. We found that NASA historically has underestimated the level of effort needed to develop, mature, and integrate such technologies. To help project managers avoid cost and schedule overruns, NASA has implemented a number of initiatives. I highlight two this morning. JCL, required since 2009 for all NASA projects with life cycle costs exceeding $250 million, a JCL analysis calculates the likelihood a project will achieve its objectives within budget and on time. The process uses software models that combine cost, schedule, risk, and uncertainty to evaluate how expected threats and unexpected events may affect a project's cost and schedule. Our examination of NASA's use of JCL found mixed success, with the tool unevenly applied across agency projects. Contracting. NASA makes use of multiple procurement vehicles for its projects including fixed-priced and cost reimbursement contracts, as well as funded Space Act agreements used to spur development of commercial cargo and crew capabilities. As NASA looks increasingly to the private sector to leverage its resources, it must ensure that the contracting mechanisms it chooses are best suited to maximize the agency's significant investments. In sum, to meet cost and schedule goals, agency leaders must temper NASA's historic culture of optimism by demanding more realistic cost and schedule estimates, well-defined and stable requirements, and mature technologies early in project development. In addition, 
Congress and NASA managers must ensure that funding is adequate and properly phased. Finally, the agency must be willing to take remedial action up to and including termination when these critical project elements are not present. In our judgment, meeting these project-related challenges can only be accomplished through leadership that articulates a clear, unified, and sustaining vision for NASA and provides the necessary resources to execute that vision. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Martin.